The Israeli military is ramping up attacks on central Gaza again, one day after the successful rescue of four hostages during the rescue operation. The Gaza Ministry of Health claims that 274 Palestinians were killed, while the Israeli Defense Force claims hostages were being held in the home of a Palestinian journalist and his physician father. As Trey Yinks reports, it's still unclear if the latest operation will help or hurt ongoing negotiations to end the war. Israeli tanks moving through northern Gaza on Sunday. The assault continuing one day after a daring hostage rescue operation that brought four Israeli captives back safely. The New York Times reporting a team of American hostage recovery officials assisted with intel and logistical support, though the White House says it did not lend any official assistance with the operation. Hostages loved ones relieved to have them home again after eight months, but mindful that many other families are still waiting. We have to remember that we have another 120 hostages more that we have to bring back home. The Hamas-run Palestinian Health Ministry reports more than 200 Palestinians were killed during the Israeli operation, including dozens of children. One Israeli officer was also killed during the fight. Israel says Hamas is putting militants and hostages in densely populated areas, but the desperate situation for Gazans is becoming increasingly impossible to ignore. There is no safe place here in Gaza. You can, you can, uh, you will, uh, they may be bombed in any moment. Despite months of negotiations, little progress has been made on a potential ceasefire. The U.S. insists Hamas is the one holding up a deal. This whole tragedy could be over. All the hostages could be home. There could be a ceasefire if Hamas would just step up and say yes to the deal that the Israelis have accepted. In a blow to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Israeli War Cabinet member Benny Gantz announced his resignation on Sunday. In Tel Aviv, Trey Inkst, Fox News.